Hello, welcome to LMC and Knowledge. We are a music channel of spiritual insight and wisdom that I will share to you so you can take along your spiritual journey. I hope you're having a good day, good night, wherever you're at, and whenever you see this, make sure that you're prayed up and in that light of Jesus, okay? Okay, so I will use my shamanic drum to open um, and tap into this realm and this energy and then we'll go from there, okay? Okay. Okay. So, with that being said and done, the message that I have for you today is they shouldn't have went against you, okay? There's some people that you may not know, or you may know, or they know about your spiritual beliefs, they know um, your ranking, or, or you let it be known to them that you are on your spiritual journey. Um, you let it be known that you are changing your life for the positive, for the better, and for elevation. And these people are deceiving you. They're very envious of what you're doing in your life. They're envious that you know about magic or that you're using magic or you're using spells or you're writing your intentions or they can physically see and feel your change the change in your frequency every time they talk to you it's like they're it's like a person who is cheering you on but they're still envious but they don't want to be looked at as an enemy you know because you're only doing good and you only bring good energy around the people so if they start to be an enemy or they make it known that they're an enemy then nobody's gonna be around them nobody's gonna want to um have anything to do with them right um with this person having a mask they have a mask it's a facade this person is a fake spiritual person like they're not tapped in but they try to act like they know or they try to connect because like I'm hearing this person doesn't do their own research and they don't go within, but they definitely take what other people are saying and they bring it to you as if it's something that they've already been doing for themselves, but um, they can't keep up with their spiritual hygiene is what I'm hearing. And it's going to show. Um, this person was always spying on you or always wanting to have a nose in your life because they just feel something different within you. This person doesn't even know that you know certain enemies or certain people who are they're they're working against somebody or they're sending out negative energy half of the time and i say half half of the time they don't even know that they're using their powers for bad right they don't realize that the thoughts that they have about you is actually can actually impact you or it can give you psychic attacks right or it can make you doubt yourself or doubt your power right so it's like half of the time they don't even know that they're doing that but the other half they do know it's their soul is doing it right sometimes your mind can't certain people sometimes their mind can't connect with their soul and those are two separate completely separate things that they don't work together like their soul and their mind doesn't work together and um this person is just like wanting to get your energy or your power they're seeing that you're taking action towards something they see that you're elevating i look at this as your spiritual power my ears just started ringing right now so definitely this person is aware of your ranking or they're aware that you have some higher knowledge or sacred wisdom right and they're wanting that for themselves right they're there it's like a person that you cut off or you're needing to cut them off because they're not a part of your spiritual journey is what I'm hearing. So if you're talking to people, um, I'm hearing the spirit say, test the people. So basically, you just talk to the people you're surrounded by about your spirituality, um, not forcing it onto them, but just opening up about your spiritual journey and see how they react to it. Feel how they react. Don't even matter about what they're saying, because like I said, your enemy can still try to fake as a supporter i'm hearing a fake supporter somebody who is not authentically i just seen 444 who is not authentically being honest in themselves around you okay this person is communicating about you 
towards other people this person is literally going on youtube just trying to search how does this person feel about me or is this it's like they're thinking you're an enemy but it's really them projecting onto you so be mindful of what your your soul is nudging you or telling you like if you're feeling weird about a specific person don't doubt what you're feeling right don't it's like some sometimes us as empaths us as spiritual people we feel things and know things but we don't like to say it or we don't because it's like we might be crazy or they're going to look at us like we're we're loco in the head right but um you need to definitely put your boundaries up on this person because it's like the more that they get to know about you or the more information they know it's like they're going to use it all against you it's like I'm seeing somebody, and this is not my emotions at all. I'm just feeling onto somebody's emotions. Uh, say that they're a musician or they're a star and people look up to them in their city or actually worldwide. And then there's people who keep hearing great things about them and it, it eats them up. Like it, it makes them very uncomfortable in a bad way to see you shine or to see you using your power or you even being a, a spiritual teacher or mentor you could be a spiritual teacher or mentor who are giving guidance and people actually listen to you and take what you're saying and they actually it actually benefits their lives right but this specific person you will be giving them knowledge or information about something and it's like they they want to they want your spot so it's like this person wants you to fight for your position or it's like then this is the crazy part because if you're in high ranking like me speaking to you as a high person high ranking you know you have opposition you know you have enemies but sometimes you don't know who it is uh sometimes they're still in your in your circle you know that inner nudge is just telling you i really shouldn't be talking to them about this or i really shouldn't be around them or i just don't want to be around them right now or please don't text me right now or please don't call me i don't want to that is just your soul already letting you know like this person isn't right for me and you should already i know you guys already know that right this person wants you to be out in the cold they want you to feel left out because they feel left out they feel like they're left out of the knowledge that you got they feel like you're not giving them you're not helping them elevate and you're the only person just elevating and stuff like that is what i'm hearing but they're not it's you know it's a soul journey and that's what you would probably tell this person like it's a solo thing first and then once you find your soul and find your path you will align yourself to the people who are like-minded just like you but this person doesn't want to work on themselves is what i'm hearing and they and they're just mad because you're working on yourself and it's like them going against you is going to cause pitfalls in their life because you have a very big purpose in this life and your spirit guides are not playing like if they're trying they don't care if it's just a thought you don't have to cast a spell onto my person is what i'm hearing um your spiritual team say you don't have to sit here and light a candle and do this all you have to do is think negative about my person and i'm gonna fuck you up and i'm sorry i'm saying it like this but this is how they feel like they're like i'm going to stomp them to into the fucking ground if they try to take you down if they try to pull you down energetically because we're talking about energy wise they don't have to sit pull your hand pull your arm and make you go this way no but energetically you need to be protected right so your spiritual team is on their ass like they're on this person ass making sure like don't try this don't you don't want to try it you don't want to go there because we're gonna take you to hell is what i'm hearing like we're gonna make your life a living true a true living hell you thought you were sad now you thought you was envious now you thought you were, we're gonna make you feel that energy times a million if you keep fucking with my person my spirit my human my human they look at you as like you're my human your um spiritual team spirit guides and god it's like you're mine so if they're not they're not praying these people that are hating on you are not praying or doing anything but when they hear you speaking or trying to guide people it makes them angry and that's not even just them that's the devil because let's let's be real if you ain't working with god who is you working with but that's all I'm getting today, guys. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.